Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Mechanics C. Today, we're going to talk about a problem regarding air resistance. Here is an example from past AP exam. A car of mass M initially at rest at time t equals zero is driven to the right as shown along a straight horizontal road with engine causing a constant force F0 to be applied. While moving, the car encounters a resistance force equals to negative kV, where V is the velocity of the car and K is positive constant. That means that is resistance force opposite in the direction as F0. A. The dot below represents the center of the mass of the car. On this figure, draw and label vectors represent all the forces acting on the car as it moves with the velocity V to the right. As it moves to the right, we know because it's only moving in a horizontal direction, the vertical force has to cancel out. Vertically, there are always gravity. Then, because there is a road, there is no more force from the road supporting the car upward. There is applied force to the right, F0, and there is air resistance to the left. So here are the force diagrams, so free body diagrams. Part B. Determine the horizontal acceleration of the car in terms of kV, F0, and m. According to Newton's second law, acceleration is F0 over mass. Or Newton's second law says sum of the force in the x direction only, because y cancels. That equals to ma, because acceleration is only in the x direction. And the force in the x direction is F0 minus kV equals ma. So we can solve for a is just F0 minus kV over m. Part C. Derive the equation expressing the velocity of the car as a function of time t in terms of k, f0, and m. So how do we find velocity? We have to go back to our acceleration. Remember, acceleration is dv over dt. This is a differential equation. To derive the velocity, we have to start from differential equation. So again, we did this before. We have to combine the terms has v with dv and everything else on the other side. So I moved it around 1 over F0 minus kV. I divide the top on both sides. Then I multiplied dt on both sides. So it can move around. The term has V with dV and everything else. This M is just constant with dt. Then I integrate. V is starting from rest. 0 to V and t is starting from t equals 0 to any time t. So again, V and dV has to match, T and dT has to match. So from this, uh, from this uh, expression, we know 1 over m is constant. We can factor it out, and the integrate of dT is just T. But this we are not familiar with. We did this before. We know 1 over x dx is ln x. So we have to use u sub to make sure the term on denominator and dv, they are the same, so we can use that equation. So it's time for u sub. u sub, u equals to the term on the bottom, f0 minus dv. The problem is this is 1 over u, and this is dv. We have to use dv in terms of du. So to do that, we derive this equation relative to v, dv, du over dv equals to 0. 0 because f0 is constant minus k because dv over dv is just 1. So that gives you negative k. From here, we solve for dv. dv is negative 1 over k du. We can substitute dv in, in the term over here. Now we have 1 over u du. It's very similar to 1 over x dx. We know that's log x. We have this negative 1 over k, which is just constant. We can take it out. And on this side, 1 over m is constant. We take it out, and the integrate of dt is just t. So now we uh, continue to simplify this. We, sub we multiply negative k on both sides. So we have 0 to v, even though it's OK. You can write it. 1 over u du equals a negative k over m dt. We just have to substitute. Make sure you remember to change this u in terms of v when you substitute value from 0 to v. So this is L and u. What is u? u equals to f0 minus kv. So it's f0 minus kv. What is the value of v from 0 to any value of v? And this is term on the right side. 
So again, when you substitute, you subtract, right? You subtract. The first term is ln f0 minus kv minus f0 v when v equals to 0, the second term equals to 0. So it's just ln f0 minus kv minus ln f0. And when you subtract the logs, you divide the two terms. So f f0 minus kv divided by f0 equals to negative k over mt. You raise to the power of e. So on the left, I switched it over here. This is e to the negative kmt. And on the right side, e to the ln term is just that term. So it's f0 minus kv over f0. And from here, we can solve for v. You can solve it, sub, uh, multiply f0, and uh, combine the f0, factoring it out. This is what you should have, v. That is the expression for velocity as a function of time of the car. Lastly, on the axis uh, diagram, sketch the graph of velocity versus time. So let's see what is the expression for velocity. This is velocity. So this is very similar to an object that's dropped in air. In the beginning, velocity is zero. Then velocity increases, increases until it reaches terminal velocity. At that point, acceleration is zero, and velocity cannot increase anymore. It's very similar. So what is the terminal velocity? In this case, terminal velocity is when t equals to max, uh, infinity in this case. When t equals to infinity, this term becomes e to the negative infinity is just a zero. So terminal velocity is just f naught over k. So that's the maximum you have. You started from zero, then you reach that maximum. We also know as v increases, resistance force increases. So your acceleration should decrease, slope should decrease. So your graph should have a shape like this. In the VT graph, slope is acceleration, acceleration is decreasing, acceleration becomes zero at infinite time. Next one, you have to graph acceleration versus time. So what is acceleration expression? Here is acceleration expression. In the beginning, when V equals to zero, acceleration is just F0 over M. That's the value you start with. F0 over m. Then, as v increases, your acceleration actually decreases and eventually becomes zero. So, acceleration versus time looks like this. Okay? Becomes zero. That's it. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.